We're also taking a closer look at Wisconsin, where Governor Scott Walker won his state's Republican primary. Walker is looking to win a third term after a failed presidential bid in 2016. He will face off against the state's top education official, Tony Evers. Governor Walker has been endorsed by his former rival, President Trump. The president tweeted, Walker has done a, quote, fantastic job as governor. David Cannon is political science professor at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Thanks for joining us, Professor. Good to be with you. So Governor Walker made a name for himself by taking on the teachers union in his state. How big of a role is education playing in this race? It's definitely one of the big, big issues. There are probably three main issues that will be the focus of the election. Education, health care, and the state of the roads. Uh, I think the uh, roads might be the one actually that resonates most with the voters because our highways are in terrible shape right now. And due to some deadlock between the state legislature uh, and the governor, they weren't able to uh, approve additional funding uh, for the highways. But education is definitely going to be right up there with one of the top three issues. And Evers has promised to keep the race focused on issues he says Walker has neglected. What other platforms is he focusing on? Yeah, so those those are probably the three things he'll talk about the most. But the other one, I think, uh, will be the, the Foxconn deal, mm -hmm. the, the big new uh, factory that's being built in the southern part of the state to manufacture uh, high-tech screens and, and other uh, high-tech jobs in the southern part of the state was done with a huge taxpayer subsidy. And that's something that Tony Evers will also be bringing up and, and critiquing, I think, uh, the Walker administration for that policy. Well, according to a morning consult poll, just 41 percent of people in Wisconsin approved of the job the president was doing last month. Will the president's endorsement help or hurt Walker? Yeah, this is a state that uh, Donald Trump has never been very popular. In fact, you probably remember in 2016, Wisconsin was the last state that Donald Trump lost on his way to winning the Republican nomination. Uh, Ted Cruz carried the state. Donald Trump got only about a third of the Republican vote in the Republican primary here. The never Trumpers were quite strong in Wisconsin. And so I think a, an endorsement by Donald Trump uh, really probably hurts more than it helps in a general election campaign here in Wisconsin. Interesting. Well, turning to the Senate, Republican State Senator Leah Vukmir is set to face incumbent Democrat Tammy Baldwin in November. How secure is Senator Baldwin's seat at this point? Well, most of the polls have been taken. There aren't too many of them that we've seen so far, but most of them have Baldwin with a comfortable, either high single digit or low double digit lead. Uh, but Vukmir is a, a strong candidate, and there's a lot of money that's being spent, outside money being spent in the Senate race. Already several million dollars spent by outside groups against Tammy Baldwin, even before they knew who the Republican nominee was going to be. Uh, Vukmir had a pretty strong win yesterday. She ended up beating Kevin Nicholson by 6%, where most of the polls are showing that a dead heat. Uh, so this will, will be a competitive Senate race, although it's typically not listed as one of the, say, seven or eight most competitive in the country. It'll, it'll be a, a tight race. Interesting. Well, what about the House? Progressive Randy Bryce is looking to fill House Speaker Paul Ryan's seat. He's better known nationally by the nickname Iron Stash. He'll be running against Brian Stile, who has Ryan's endorsement. How is Congressman Ryan viewed in the state, and what are the chances of the seat flipping to blue? Well, Paul Ryan was still very popular in the state. He obviously would have easily won re-election had he decided not to retire. Uh, but that's a competitive race now. Uh, with Randy Bryce uh, attracting substantial outside money, he's probably going to be able to at least uh, raise as much as his Republican opponent, if not more. And that's a seat that was held by the Democrats for many decades, going back to the 1970s and 80s. Uh, that was a Democratic part of the state. Now, with redistricting, they made it more Republican-leaning uh, than it used to be. But that's the one of the eight congressional districts in Wisconsin that could flip to the Democrats. All right, we'll be watching it all closely. David Cannon and Madison for us. David, thanks very much. Okay, good to be with you.